So in this lecture, let us create a simple application in Python using Scrimlet for a PDF unlocker and a PDF merger. So let's just get started with the file name first. We just create the file name as app.py. So once that file is created, we need to some import some libraries for Python in Python. So let's import libraries like uh, like PDF and if uh, so. We can just just import it right now, and then once those are not there, we will install them. We will import Streamlit as st, and uh, from this is our library again. From file PDF two, we import PDF or else PDF file merger so that's the library and we have imported and last import uh, this is not actually required streamlit components so we just uh, okay so these are the libraries now these libraries may or may not be installed on your machine so to install them quickly we go to the terminal now on visual studio code the terminal comes with control plus tilde control plus tilde so we need to install them we start with pip install pipe pdf so using that command python will install that library started installing so whatever dependencies and everything it will install in the end it will give you a confirmation message yeah, that's the confirmation message okay i have a pip upgrade it uh, I, I can install or if i want i can just ignore that command and uh streamlet is already installed i need to install this library as well that is pip install py pdf2 so that's py pdf2 collecting the packages and that that's it install it let me just clear this now we are running the application using streamlet so let's just get started with the application let's say that the title is uh, let's say playing with pdfs or yeah anything what you like so st dot title okay and uh, so that's st dot title and whatever title we want we can give so we are playing Play with PDF. Play with PDF, and uh, let's just start the function f main. And once I start with the function, I have to close the function at the end. So I have this command: just copy and paste that. And after that, I can just with mean that I can write any command I want. So I'll have first get started with the option for the person to either unlock a PDF or merge PDFs. So option I create a function I create a variable named option is equals to st dot select box. So we have st dot select box and then inside that we have a statement that is working with pdfs working with pdf and after that we have two options for the user to select that is either he wants to unlock the pdf that is unlock pdf or he wants to merge PDF, that is merge PDF, which has to be it's a spring, so merge PDF. It's merge PDF. Now we have the if statement. If option equals equals 
let's say the user selects unlock PDF. So just a couple of minutes, we will just start this application to just visualize that how it's running and then what all changes do we make here. So if the user selects unlock PDF, what we do is here we just write your st dot write and then we just print that unlock PDF for timely and then just save it and we run it. So to run this, we run streamlit run app.py. So it's running now here. You see, this is the application. We have the heading, the title that's play with PDF, and this working with PDFs, unlock PDF, that's the option, and merge PDF is the option. Now see, we don't have anything written under the merge PDF option. That's why it's blank. But if you select unlock PDF, you have unlock PDF select, right? That's printed. So that is coming from this state, unlock PDF. Now if I select here another option that's if the user selects if the option is equals to is equals to merge pdf that's this one so then what do i print i print st.write st.write and then it has to be merge pdf selected that's merge so this is just this is just to visualize the running so in streamlit you can as we know that we can run the changes and uh, we just select always rerun so whatever changes are they'll get reflected here so now we can see when merge pdf is selected merge pdf gets displayed now what we need to do is when the user selects unlock pdf the user can upload files here the user can upload files so we using file uploader from streamlit and holding this so when the user selects this now we can remove this part we can remove this part so when the unlock pdf is selected what we do is we have a variable created that is uploaded underscore files and for those files what we do is we pass the streamlit dot file uploader file underscore uploader and let the user choose the files so we enter a string choose a pdf file so that user wants to unlock this pdf file and we can also have accept multiple files accept underscore multiple files now currently we put that as false multiple files or else we'll keep it as true the user can enter multiple files as many as as many files as possible now now for so the files being uploaded we need the file name or we need the the data from that file so for uploaded for uploaded underscore file in let's in what in the uploaded files in uploaded files now inside the for loop what we have is bytes underscore data we get the data is equals to and then we read them so uploaded that is uploaded file dot read so what is happening here is for uploaded file this variable is created from this from the uploaded files so what we do is from this the byte data which is there we are using this variable and then reading that from that and now what we do is we write st.write file name and then the uploaded file name at the end so st.write and what do we write we write the file name and what will be the file name here the file name will be file name comma we will be having the uploaded file uploaded file dot and it will have a name uploaded file dot name now what we do is we have to pass a password for unlocking the PDF file. So PDF underscore pass is equals to st dot 
text. So that will be st dot. It will be taking text input from the user. So we have text underscore input, and we pass the the label as PDF password. So the user knows that I have to enter the password of my PDF file here. So basically, this can be used to unlock some PDFs. PDF files whose password is known to you, that is some bank statements or uh, some files, some PDF files whose passwords are known to you. But mind you, don't use some confidential data or some confidential files, uh, avoid using them. So now we just need a button to unlock. So once you press that button, that file which is present or which whose password you have entered will be unlocked. So unlock is equals to st dot we have a method called button and st dot button what will that do is it will unlock the pdf so it will have the button will have a text unlock pdf okay so now after this once the unlock is selected once the unlock is selected what will it do if i have unlock the unlock is selected then pdf is equals to now i'll be using that Library by PDF that is pipe PDF dot open and then what will I open? I'll open the uploaded file, comma, and then I'll pass the password. So password is equals to I have PDF pass. So I've created that variable and I'll pass that. Now I'll save the PDF. So I have PDF dot save and now what will you save that as again you will save that as uploaded file uploaded file dot name the same name and we we'll write that the file is successfully unlocked now the file is successfully unlocked st dot write what will you display that file successfully unlocked the file is successfully unlocked and now mm, you can ask the user to download now for sure that once I have unlocked the file I want to see that file I want to download that file right so I'll just download that file using the download button so what I can do is I can start with with open what was that it was an uploaded file so I'll have to open that right uploaded underscore file dot name I'll be leading so the method used will be R B as F I'm storing that we have and then now those that data which will be present here will be in the form of bytes. So I need PDF byte library there this one so PDF and then byte PDF byte is equals to F dot read the file read again and then whatever I'm reading I'll be downloading that so I'll be using the download button uh, method so that's that's something like this I have already written the code I just paste it and then so the download button will be sd dot download button that label will be download simple and then the data which we are passing is this data the PDF file data file name will be again uploaded file dot name and yeah. it will be mine dot application mine will be application and octet stream so let's just save this and let's see what is the difference now here let's just rerun the application it's already rerun now what we need is we need a a pdf file let's just download a pdf file here which will have pdf files yeah. with password so we have pdf files with password so here what we can do is we can have a pdf file uploaded here whatever pdf files we need from uh, your machine and currently i don't have any uh, pdf files here so let's just say i have this file here pdf file you just open that 
So that same file name will be displayed here and then pass the password whichever you want like that file is not having any password so I'll just unlock that and the file is successfully unlocked if I just download that that file will be downloaded and it will be shown in the file explorer so that file will be displayed here so this is how you run you play with the PDF file so if you see here that file would be same file like the same file would be downloaded here. It's unlocked and it's ready to use. So these were the changes for the unlock PDF file. So this is the so you can beautify it by using you can beautify it by using some uh, some Loki uh, files or some uh, displaying some cool stuff here using Loki, which we've already done in the previous lectures. So yeah. That's about the unlock PDF file, and uh, in the next in the next one, we'll start with the merge of the files. That is merging PDF files. So that's a simple again the simple tool and simple code. We'll be beginning with that.